Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Mama Beach, and if you've never been here before, welcome. I hope you'll take a minute to look through my other videos, and if you're really into handbags, then you've come to the right place. So I hope you will hit the subscribe button below. If you are one of my regular peeps that I love, thank you so much for stopping by again to watch my videos. I really appreciate all your support. I'm so flattered that I'm almost 200, 700 subscribers. I never thought I would have this many subscribers, so I'm super excited. Thank you guys. Okay, on to the video. Because I know why you guys are really here is to see these fabulous handbags that I have today. And the first one is a doozy. And I bought it from a fellow YouTuber that you guys, I bet, most of you know and love. And her name is Frances. And her channel is called Happiness Sparkles. And I would highly recommend her channel. She is just, she does great videos. She's just an all-around super kind person and has a great heart. So I always um, love her. I love watching her channel and I just love her as a person. So I'm going to link her channel below in the description box. And specifically, I'm going to link the video that she did about this bag. Because if you want to see the unboxing of when she first got it, um, you can go watch. And then she gives out some information about this bag that I probably won't cover in this video. So here is the fabulous bag that I got from her. Isn't this thing so cool? Oh my gosh, the second she posted a picture of this thing when she bought it, I was like, oh, I need that bag, what is that? And so we talked all about it. She actually called me on Facebook Messenger and we had a conversation about it and oh my gosh, I was just like in love at first sight. And so she told me that if she ever decided to sell it that she would let me know and she did. And so she contacted me last week and um, she was like, I think I'm going to sell it's too big. I haven't used it. And I'm like, send it on down to the United States because she's in Canada. Um, and she did on like Thursday and it got here in like four days. It's crazy. I've never seen anything like it. It was like crazy fast international shipping. So thank you so, so much, girl. I love this bag. And I knew from the second that I saw it on your Instagram that it was a winner. So this bag is by a company called Good Old Days, and they are based out of Thailand. So this bag has made quite the journey. It has gone from Thailand to Canada somehow, and then come, now it's here in the United States, on the east coast of the United States with me. So um, luckily, whoever has owned it in all of that time has taken pretty good care of it. And this leather is like butter. When I say smushy butter, I mean, this is some smushy butter leather. It is super duper soft. And she said she conditioned it twice. So it's very supple right now. Really, really beautiful. It has a beautiful sheen and luster to it. And um, she said when she contacted the company on Facebook, because you can find them on Facebook. Um, maybe I'll link their page down below so you can take a look at the other stuff that they make. This stuff, this bag is retired and it's been retired now for like four or five years according to the information she got from the company. The color is called Whiskey, and it came in other colors, um, but I don't know the name of the style, specifically. Um, but I, what, I, what do I love about it? Okay, besides the super soft butter leather, we have the rivets. Look at all of these rivets. I mean, doesn't this look like a fry bag? It looks like a fry bag, these details with the, all of the rivets, kind of like the distressed leather, the giant scale of the tassel. Then you have this super interesting shoulder strap where it has more rivets and then it's kind of twisted onto itself through these brass rings. And this is kind of cushioned. So it's very comfortable on the shoulder. And then you have more rivets and more glorious buckles and things on it. And you have a back pocket, which, we all know I love an outside pocket so I can put my phone in here. The inside of the bag is lined in nylon, dark colored nylon, which will be so durable and awesome for carrying around things. And inside, the pockets are made of suede. How cool. It reminds me of Patricia Nash because she does her like insides and pockets out of suede. And then on this side, it has a big zip pocket. But this is the thing that got me about this company. When Frances and I were talking about them when she first got this bag, I looked on their Facebook page and guess what is part of their logo? A duck. 
a duck. So if you go on their page, they have all of these different things. Nowadays, it seems they make more like utilitarian um, items like um, lunch boxes and backpacks and stuff. But they all have this duck on it. Like Dooney Duck. I was like, Francis, if that's not meant to be, I don't know what is. So um, let me try this on for you guys. It does have a couple pen marks on it, which for a bag that's a few years old, I would say that's just how it goes. And I did contact the company and ask them if I can get this wet and they said no, that they would not recommend taking it in the rain. It seems like, and even after I received it and kind of handled the leather, I can tell it's not treated really. It, it is pebbled, but it's so soft and kind of, I don't know, looks spongy. It definitely doesn't appear to be treated like pebbled leather. So I'll probably not be taking this one in the elements very often. I am going to spray it to help protect it. And here, let me try it on for you guys. Look how fabulous this is. I told Francis when I opened it yesterday that I feel like the coolest cowgirl with this bag. That's exactly how it makes me feel. It's like a rugged but chic cowgirl. And speaking of cowgirl, somebody on my last video, I think it was, or maybe the video before, asked me about these because they're in the background of all my videos. And um, she asked me if these were the fry boots that I put in my video recently. And the answer is no. They are my cowboy boots. So let's look at these two together. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be so cute. I'm gonna be the coolest, cutest cowboy. <laughs> I can't wait. So these are Lucchese boots and um, they're actually about six years old. They're still in amazing condition. And my husband bought these for me. He loves cowboy boots. He has a pair. I wonder where his are. They're around here somewhere. Um, so he loves cowboy boots. And so he, when we started dating, I think it was a couple years after we started dating, he was like, you need some cowboy boots. And so he picked these out himself and bought them for me. Um, and I've had them ever since. And I love them, but I only really wear them on special occasions. Um, they are comfortable now that I've broken them in over the last few years. But the toe is so pointy, like I struggle to go up and down stairs <laughs> because my foot is like all the way back here. So I really only wear them on special occasions. And then just for sake of comparison, here are the, the one of the fry boots I just bought. So you can see the silhouette is very similar to a traditional cowboy boot, but the toe isn't quite as um, pointy and extended. So I think it will be easier for me to like do my everyday like walking going up downstairs and things with these and then I'll still save these for a special occasion Ooh, let's try the pack of these oh yes love it I'm so excited for fall it's gonna be such a great fall bag and I'm excited to, to for boot season to start um, okay so that's that now I'm going to briefly okay so next pack I got sorry there's just so much going through my little brain. I got two bags yesterday. This one from Francis and another one that I also wasn't expecting. I wasn't expecting either of these bags to come yesterday. And they came on the same day. So on my last video, um, I received a comment that um, didn't sit well with me. And it was um, basically the gist of the comment was um, that... I, I appear to, um, just spend at random and with very little research or like regard for what I'm spending my money on and that this person can't believe like how much money I must be wasting on all this handbag stuff and that she, that she thinks I'm, I'm addicted to shopping or something like that. So I don't even really want to address this comment in a video because honestly, it's so unbelievably rude and crass that I don't think it's worth me wasting time talking about it, but it, it does have s some relation to this next purchase that I'm going to show you. So if this is what this person thinks of me and my channel, she clearly hasn't watched enough of my videos because as I've said a million times on this channel, I am cheap. I'm the queen of cheap, I'm a bargain hunter, I'm a super researcher, I will scour 
and wait for the correct deal. I will do tons of research about any bag that I purchase, and I always purchase at bargain prices. Always. I never overpay. That's like something I really pride myself on. So, that being said, even when I research the heck out of the bag, and even after I scour the internet and wait and wait and wait and wait for the correct deal, I'm not always right. I'm not always right. Sometimes I make mistakes. Sometimes I buy a bag and then I get it and I don't like it. Or I, don't, I carry it for a brief period of time and I decide I don't like it. And that's just life. I mean, it's not being impulsive. It's being wrong. And that's something that's completely different. So this bag that I'm going to show you next is a bag that I have looked at for probably close to a year. I've looked at it on and off. I have looked at it in person before and I had been searching for the correct deal, for the correct color, for the correct size. Because it's a bag I wanted to try but I wasn't sure if I would like and I wanted to buy it at a bargain price for that reason. And it came at the same day as this good old days hobo and it was the wrong day for it to come because next to this good old days hobo that I feel like has such heart and really speaks to me and like my spirit as a person and who I am, this bag does not. And I definitely feel like I did not get it right with this one. Okay, here's the bag. It is my first Rebecca Minkoff bag. I've been looking at the morning after clutch that everybody calls Mac bag for a long time. I looked at it in the mini size. This is the regular size Mac. And then there's one bigger than this called the Mac Daddy. And I really wanted this middle size, which is a lot harder to find than the mini Mac, which is a little shorter and uh, less wide than this. So I was looking for this size. I really wanted to try red because I don't have a lot of red in my collection. And I didn't want it to be, like, some of these can be very flashy, like shiny, like super shiny, like patent leather. And I, I wanted it to be a little more subdued. So I got this bag yesterday, and in contrast to this one when I opened it, where I just felt like it was immediate love and like it felt like me. I don't feel like this is me. I love, I've watched so many videos about this style. I feel like it looks great on people. I feel like it really goes with other people's personalities. It's kind of got that like edgy, with the studs, that like edgy rocker vibe. And it has like the chain. And I think to me, this isn't me. So it was like a very unfortunate day for it to arrive. Because I think if it had arrived on a different day, I might have given it more of a chance. And I still am unsure what I'm going to do about it. I may just turn around and sell it and say like, okay, I need to try a different Minkoff style. I think that maybe it doesn't have as much like bling on it or I might try it for a while. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I just wanted to point out that I'm not always right. Sometimes I make mistakes and sometimes I don't even talk about my mistakes on this channel. I just turn around and sell them and move on. And so you don't even see all the bags I buy probably because some of them I give away to family or friends and some of them I turn around and sell if I don't like. So that's my story. Um, I am thinking of one person <laughs> when I opened this bag, I was like, I know who should have this bag. And I'm thinking of my friend Alana from the, the YouTube channel Thrifter by Design. I love her channel too. I'm going to link it down below. And this bag, I can see her carrying like heartbeat. She needs this bag. So I might actually contact her and see if she wants to buy it because it is so Alana to me, at least. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I really appreciate all of your support. And I hope that you will tune in next time. Bye.